Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for Ranked Regulation G. What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are showcasing one of the best Kyogre teams for Ranked Battles in Regulation G. Now, when it comes to Kyogre, everybody knows that it's top tier. But with the Pokemon that we're pairing it up with today, everything works out fine and there is a ton of synergy to help you guys push Master Tier in this brand new format. But Kyogre is going to be the first Pokemon that we talk about in the top left hand corner with Drizzle as its ability and it's rocking the Choice Scarf as item, which I absolutely love. It's got Water Spout, it's got Origin Pulse, Ice Beam, and Hydro Pump. Everybody knows the power of Kyogre, but rocking the Choice Scarf as item makes it faster in a lot of different situations, outspeeding Pokemon, and getting off some big time turns. Other Pokemon on today's team features Incineroar and Rillaboom, and I've been seeing a lot of teams feature both Incineroar and Rillaboom, and for good reason. Very, very strong. Two fake out users, one sets terrain, one can intimidate and drop special attack with parting shot. You really can't go wrong with them. Like I mentioned, Incineroar's got the Intimidate, but it's also rocking the Citrus Berry. It's got Fake Out, Knock Off, Flare Blitz, and Parting Shot. We already mentioned a couple of those moves and abilities, but that's just what Incineroar does. Robum's over here, normal moveset for him with Grassy Glide, Wood Hammer, U-Turn, and Fake Out. Can't go wrong with them. Our final three Pokemon on today's team, one is going to be the Dark and Fighting Urshfu for big time physical attacking. Another one is going to be Tornadus for good Tailwind support and Rain Dance if we have to get off uh, Rain yet again. Say so we're going up against like a Groudon team, they take Weather Control. We have Tornadus with Rain Dance. We love it. Our final Pokemon pairs up with Kyogre perfectly. It is going to be Serena over here with Queenly Majesty as his ability. This ability, top tier considering with Kyogre, it stops all first turn priority moves. So if we're going up against, say, like Rillaboom with Grass Guide or even Raging Bolt with Thunderclap, Queenly Majesty can stop them both. Really pairing up with Kyogre well, like I already mentioned. This thing's got the Wild Lens with Helping Hand, Taunt, Triple Axle, and Power Up. Like I said, this Pokemon's great. You're going to be seeing it a lot in Regulation G. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Well, without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing this Kyogre ranked team. Check it out. They added lightning bolts in the background. We love it. Zapping away. But actually, zapping away is not going to be good considering we're using Kyogre. He's weak to electric. It's all good. We're going up against a Shadow Rider Cadillac's team here in match number one. They're also rocking out with Incineroar, Tornadus, Annihilate. Uh, Brute Bonnet, who I haven't seen too much of, and then Indeedy. So Indeedy's going to be able to pair up with Calyrex really well. I can honestly just lead like Tornadus and Kyogre. That wouldn't be bad, considering Choice Scarf would be amazing, and they have no way of weather control, unless they're rocking Sunny Day on Tornadus. But I kind of doubt it, right? I mean, you could be, honestly. I mean, you have Brute Bonnet with Protosynthesis. But you know what? I'm going to go into both of these guys. I think that's a solid play for us with the Choice Scarf. So if we go Tailwind for Tailwind, my Kyogre should outspeed the Calyrex. We love it. So, yeah, they're going to be my lead here. We are going to end up bringing uh, Rillaboom in the back end just for a little bit of terrain control. And then last but not least, I think Urshifu works fine here. They don't really have too many first turn priority moves besides, honestly, Fake Out. And if you're going to Fake Me Out, we might just want to go into you. It's either you or Urshifu. You know, we're just going to go into Urshifu here. I don't think they're going to lead in Sinor. I really don't. If they want to, they can. I just don't think they're going to do it. I think we're going to see uh, Tornadus on their side. Tornadus and, like, maybe Shadow Rider Calyrex. But you never know. You never know. They got six Pokemon to choose from. They could definitely go into Incineroar. But first match in Ranked in a while. I have played Ranked in probably, like, a month. So we've just been rocking out on the Casual Ladder. Casual Ladder is a good time. But now we're back on the Ranked grind. Root Bonnet's going to come out here with Tornadus. This is leading me to think you're going to go for Sunny Day. This is definitely leading me to think you're going to go for Sunny Day. And if that's the case... If that's the case, we're honestly just going to rip an Ice Beam into this slot. And do we go for Tailwind this turn, or do we just Bleak Wind Storm? I think we just Bleak Wind Storm. Let's just attack here. Yeah, you're going to go for Sunny Day. No big deal. No big deal. I can always Rain Dance next turn. That's fine. Are you going to Spore me? That's the real question. Are you going to Spore me? What are you going for here? Your defense is going to get boosted. We should still outspeed you. Ice Beam going to fly here. Chunk up some great damage. Can Bleak Wind Storm pick up the KO? Of course you got the Barry. Of course you're rocking out with the Barry, so not a bad call for us. Bleak Windstorm might still be able to KO. Let's see, can it KO? Oh man, the Barry saved your life, Brute Bonnet. Now what are you going for here? We got the speed drop on you. And you're gonna go for the Spore. So the Spore pops out here. Um, I don't mind just leaving the Sun out here for a little bit. I mean, you do get a defense boost, but we might as well just Bleak Windstorm here. Actually, it might be in our best interest to Tailwind. We can always swap Kyogre, but, you know, let's just waste out turns here. Let's just go for, I guess, an Origin Pulse here. Actually, I'm choosing Ice Beam. You know, we might want to swap Kyogre eventually, but right now, let's just go for Ice Beam. And we'll go for Bleak Windstorm. 
Nice little bleak windstorm. Sucker Punch gonna fly here. Okay, chipping up a little bit of damage. Nothing crazy. Ice Beam gonna fly here. And who'd you put to sleep? You put my Tornadus to sleep? Oh my lord, I just assumed you put Kyogre to sleep. I just assumed you put Kyogre to sleep. We might swap Kyogre at this point. We might swap Kyogre at this point. They bring out Shadow Rider Kalyx. We, we should just swap Kyogre at this point. We should just swap him. Oh my lord, I, I, I could I could have sworn. I could have sworn you just put my Tornado to sleep. We're just going to go and Robum here. Robum's going to come out here and we're going to try to get get off the Tailwind here. I'm gonna try to get off a tailwind. Oh my lord! I just assumed you put you would put Kyogre to sleep. You end up putting my Tornado to sleep. That works so well. Did they bring out Shadow Rider Kalyx? We're gonna swap into Rillaboom here. We have Assault Vessel on this Pokemon, which I love, and maybe they're going for another Sucker Punch into Kyogre. That's definitely a possibility. Tornado is still gonna be asleep, so we need to wake up and get off a tailwind. We really do need need to get off a tailwind. Astro Barrage gonna fly here, and Rillaboom should soak this. It does. Doesn't even take half, which is good. And another Spore is going to fly here. So it's perfect that we go into this. And honestly, do we fake out the Brute Bonnet here? Do we Grassy Guide into... I think we just Grassy Guide into you because I really just need to wake up. I really just need to wake up here and get off this Tailwind. If we can get off this Tailwind, it's massive. I'm going to withdraw the Brute Bonnet. So Brute Bonnet's going to get the withdrawal here. You're probably going to go into Indeedee. Is that, is that, is that correct? And yeah, we just need to get off this Tailwind. If we get off this Tailwind, it's massive. So, so far, two turns sleep. We only need one turn. We only need one. Show me one. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Wake up. Tailwind beautiful. So now they get terrain, they're probably dropping Expanded Force for a double KO. But what I can do now is bring out Kyogre with the Choice Scarf. And Grassy Guy's still out speeding. It's a little odd. And this is not going to KO Robin, correct? So I get to keep Robin on the field for but now what I can do is bring out my Kyogre. That's why I want to get out Tailwind. It should be able to outspeed both these guys. And I should just be able to go for an Origin Pulse. And I might just go for, honestly, a Water Spout here. Because Origin Pulse has the Accuracy miss. I could miss with Accuracy Drops. So I honestly might just... Are you Terra Water? If you're Terra Water, we're just going to Terrasalize you. If you're Terra Water, we're just going to Terrasalize you. Yeah, we're just going to Terrasalize and go for Water Spout. It's in our best interest. I know we're we're not full HP, but Water Spout's still doing a ridiculous amount of damage. And if I can just pick up this KO onto uh, Calyrex here, we should be sitting in a really good position just to win this game. Not a bad first match. I think their mistake here was not sporing Kyogre. But honestly, sporing Tornado or not sporing Tornadus would have would have been hurtful as well. If it ends up going for the follow me, it does not matter. We're going for U-turn in that slot anyway, and we just need Water Spout to pick up the KO onto this. Calyrex, which I think it should, especially with this Terra Boost. Rain, Stab, we love it. We love Kyogre, man. I told you guys, this is one of the best ranked Kyogre teams. Hope you guys are renting this squad. But yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. u turns going to take out this Ndidi. We're going to be able to pivot out, have Fake Out, and Terrain Control later. And I get to bring out the lovely Urshifu here. And Rocky Helmet, does Rocky Helmet KO me? I think we survived on like five. Five or six? Did we survive? No, we died. My boy died the Rocky Helmet. It's all good. It's all good. We got Speed. We got Urshifu chilling here. And their only Pokemon left is Brute Bonnet, who is on, like, maybe 10 HP. <laughs> it's nothing crazy. Thanks for playing. My first rank match in over a month. And I'm dominant. And I'm killing it. I knew once I got off that town when it was pretty much over. But from here, do they have Terra? That's the real question. They still have Terra. They still have Terra, but, um... I'm still just going to go into close combat. I doubt you have Ghost Terra. And then Water Spouch finishes off. And the battle's canceled. So 1-0 to get things started. Let's go hop into our second match. Moving on to our second match. Got things started off hot here with Kyogre. We are 1-0. But we're going up against another Shadow Rider Calyrex team. And something that stands out to me is no weather control on their side. So I'm down to just lead Kyogre here. Super good Pokemon. Super fast Pokemon. I don't mind leading it. We're going to go into Kyogre here alongside with... I think Tornadas. I think Tornadas. Yeah, I like Tornadas here. And I also want to bring in Serena in the back end. Just in case they want to go in the Raging Bolt. We can stop first turn priority move. So that's something that I love. And then last but not least, we could go in the Robo just to stop terrain control. Or we could go into Urshfu. We have two options here. Two options. It's either Urshfu or it's Robo. And they both kind of work really well, right? They both work really well. And you know what? I'm going to go into Robo here just in case that Urshfu is a 
water type burst fruit, we can just grass glide. Get rid of it whenever we want. But we'll see what they want to do here because, again, they have no weather control. And I don't mind leading Tyrannus here. Just sending it out there. Tailwind maybe popping some water spouts. You guys seen water spout in the last one. Maybe Terrasilize some water again. The damage output is just insane. So if we have to do it, we will do it. But they're going to end up going into Ogre Pond and Raging Bolt. Now, this makes me want to just Terrat or swap into uh, Serene over here just to stop first turn priority. And I think I'm just going to Terrasilize and go Water Spout, right? I think that's my play. I think that's my play. And then we just hard swap into Queenly Majesty Pokemon right here. Stopping all priority moves. I'm down. I'm a fan. I like it. Let's do it. I should just go in for Thunderbolt, but I, I doubt it, right? I would think Thunderclap would be a play. I would think Thunderclap would be a play. You would think, right? You would think. So I'm going to swap right here. I'm going to stop all first turn priority, and this is why I love this Pokemon here. You just don't have to worry about Thunderclap anymore. So we're going to Terrasilize, put on the little Water Fountain hat again. We love it. Water Fountain hat. Doing some big time damage. And we'll see how they want to play this one. I mean... Ogre Pond sitting here, I'm probably going to spike your shield, right? Most likely? Yeah, I mean, you're going to spike your shield. Show me you're going for Thunderclap. That'd be lovely. Go, go ahead. Go for Thunderclap. You're not. Hold up. You might be going for Thunderbolt. That's no good for us. How much damage does Water Spout do into this thing? It's not going to KO. It could be vested as well. Yeah, you soak rather well. That might be best. That might be best all day. There goes Thunderbolt. Is that KOing us? It's not. It's not. So now might be a solid turn for us to just kind of swap out Kyogre and save it for later and maybe go into a Pokemon like Tornadus. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do here. That's what I'm going to do and I'm just going to go for a triple axle into into you. So I'm going to swap Kyogre here. I'm going to reset our choice Scarf considering we are now in Water Spout. Water Spout's not doing any crazy damage with that low of HP. And I'm going to go back into Tornadus here. Now because just going to fly here and you should soak this in the rain all day long. We love that. Now can you outspeed? You can. Now, can Triple Axle hit all three times a KO? Hit one more time, please. Thank you. See you later. Get it on out my face. So, we got rid of you. Um, I like having Kyogre in the back end with his choice scarf. I mean, we can most likely outspeed. And if I can kind of just keep Serene on the field, I can stop first turn priority. But I think that only first turn priority was Raging Bolt, right? So, now with that gone, that could be big. So, they're going to send out their next Pokemon. It is going to be Urshifu. I mean, this is the Water Urshifu. This can do some big time damage. But from here, I'm just going to Tailwind set up and... I'm going to go for a Power Whip. I'm going to go for a Power Whip in this slot. So I'm going to get off this Tailwind. Get some speed control for the squad. And he's going to end up Terrastalizing. And this is going to be Urshifu. Urshifu is going to get the Terror type into what? Straight Water? You are going into Straight Water. Now the real question is, are you going for Aqua Jet to try to kill my Serene? Or are you just going to go for some Strikes? These are options that we have. The Tailwind's going to fly here. Hopefully you are going for... Surging Strikes here. We can just KO you with, like, Power Whip. Sweet. Awesome. We love it. Get it on out of here. So now they wasted their Terra, and we got rid of our Shiro. That is massive. And now we have Tamwin on the field, too, and we reset our Tree Scarf with Kyogre. Love it. So now Ogre Pond sitting here. Can't Terrasilize. Ivy Cudge are going to finish off our screen. And now I can bring back out Kyogre and start Origin Potion. This is why this team's so strong, man. You just got so many different options of what you can do. Now we get to go into you. I can bleak and storm. I don't think you have another first turn priority Pokemon, right? Nothing. It should be Shadow Rider Calyrex. Yep, it's going to be Calyrex, and we know our Calyrex on speeding. Not just because of Tailwind, but because of the Choice Scarf. And I love where we're sitting. I love where we're sitting. Love this position. So now we go bleak and storm. We switch our Choice into Origin Poles, and that pretty much wraps up the game, right? Unless we're missing attacks, right? Both these moves could miss attacks, so fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. If you're watching this, cross your fingers right now. Because if I miss, it's on you. Because if I miss, it's on you guys. So get them fingers crossed. Origin Pulse going to fly here. Good thing my fingers were crossed. We land us no problem. This might just pick up double KO. Let's be honest here. Night Night to Ogre Pond. Almost taking out the Calyrex. Bleak Wind Storm. Shit out speed. If not, we got a Grass God Pokemon in the back end. It's game, set, match. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. This Kai Ogre team is ridiculous. We're sitting 2-0. Let's go hop into our third. Grab ourselves a perfect record. Moving on to our final match, and we're not even going up against any restricted Pokemon here. So we went up against two Shadow Rider Calyrex teams, and now we're just going up against a team without a restricted Pokemon. But I'm not going to take it lightly, considering these Pokemon are still very, very strong. But something that stands out to me is no weather control yet again. We love no weather control. 
we absolutely love no weather control so someone that i want to lead here is probably going to be kyogre and instead of leading serene we want to bring it in the back end because they can fake out and grass glide and we kind of want them to, to lean towards using those moves and then swap into this pokemon so i think just going into like an intimidate user could be good for us with Incineroar. So I'm going to go Incineroar. I'm going to be Shireen in the back end. And then last but not least, we are going to end up going into Rillaboom or Urshifu. I'm going to go into Rill or Urshifu here. I like it. We could go into Tornadas. Tornadas could be good late game, but I just like where we're sitting with the Choice Scarf. And what the Choice Scarf allows us to do with Kyogre. Considering, like, we don't need the speed as long as they don't have somebody to, like, you know, like Tailwind support to boost their speed. Because Kyogre is probably going to outspeed. Regardless, we should be fine. So, I like this team a lot. This team is phenomenal. It really is. It's definitely very heavy meta, but hopefully you guys still aren't enjoying. But they're going to end up going into Frigoraph and Incineroar. So from here, we're just going to swap into Serene here, and then we're just going to Terrasalize Water and send a Spout. It's by far our simplest play, right? It stops everything that they're doing. It stops everything that they're doing. Everything, yeah, because he's gonna, he's probably sitting here like, Oh, like I want to fake you out, and I'm just gonna be like, Yo, like let's just stop fake out right now and just go in the stream. Stop all first turn priority Pokemon. This is again, this is why I was speaking so highly about this Pokemon in the beginning of today's video. Like, since Kai just Kai Ogre joining the game, this Pokemon becomes such a massive support Pokemon in this game. So, you're gonna be seeing this Pokemon a lot, like, it just works so well. Check it out, coming out here. We don't have to worry about fake out anymore. We're able to just terrestrialize a water spout. You're just gonna withdraw and send Go into who? Uh, Rillaboom? That's fine. You can't grassy guide. You can't grassy guide. You could try to get off a trick room. But I mean, you're most likely dead unless you're focus ash. And I doubt you're focus ash. I doubt you're focus ash. And I still think this water spout can do close to half damage onto this Rillaboom. Unless it's vested. I mean, my Rillaboom's vested. I love it, but you can't fake me out. You can't go for Grassy Glide. Two massive things. Just staring you in the face. The Water Spout flies. We have fingers crossed to KO this Frigoraf. I think it should, right? It does. And now we're just sitting in a beautiful position. This is a great position. Because what I think they were trying to do is maybe just pop a trick room or something. Especially with Frigoraf on the field. I like where we're sitting. I like it. So let's see who they go into. They're going to go into Ogre Pond. And most likely they are going to Spiky Shield. Most likely, they're Spiky Shield in here. Most likely, they're just going to say you're in Spiky Shield. Now, the question is, how fast are you? Are you faster than Rillaboom? I think you are. That's cutting it close. It's cutting it real close. I could swap. I mean, you're, I doubt you're going for any of those moves, so I could swap and just intimidate you. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I doubt you're going for any first-time priority moves. There's no way you are, unless you don't know this ability. I mean, this is Great Ball tier, considering <laughs> I am um, just got back in the ranked battles and the new season started. But I'm going to say you don't freak out or Grassy Glide, right? So Intimidate's going to fly here. You are going for Grassy Glide. What? What? Well, what am I supposed to do here, ladies and gentlemen? This is what I get for beating Great Ball tier right now. I could just stay on the field and stop both these moves and just get it off a free water spout. There's, it's just, that's just crazy. That's just crazy, but at least we intimidated here. Hurts my soul. <laughs> and I can just go in back in the serene here. I mean, if you want to go into triple, or you, you want to go into those moves, that's fine. Or I could just go into you. I mean, I can fake out here now, too. Which is good news. I might as well just go into you. Fake out the ogre pond. Try to get rid of this, uh, little boom. Now we're in a tough position. Wow, we could have just we could just sat on the field with this Pokemon. We could have just sat in the field and just water spout it for free and for days and got rid of everything. But from here, they're intimidated. Um, shouldn't go into Wicked Blow with the black glasses. Gonna use it into you. I am just gonna go for a fake out into Ogre Pond. He's just gonna end up withdrawing Wilbum. So Will Wilbum's gonna get the withdrawal here. He wants to fake out for later. Incineroar is gonna come out here. He's gonna intimidate me. All right, that's fine. That's fine. That is fine. He's just gonna spike his shield up here. I'm gonna look to probably just party shot there instead of next turn, and just attack that right slot. That's fine. That's fine. So now we have an actual battle. That's so crazy to me. 
that that they double grassy glided and I ended up swapping. So Wicked Blow flies here, still doing decent damage. We have crit, so Intimidate isn't really affecting us. Um, you know, I just swap into Serene here, just so they can't fake me out. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Cause it seems to me that they just love using these first turn priority moves, not knowing that this thing has stability to stop it. So I'm just gonna swap Incineroar here. We're gonna stop any types of fake outs and we're just gonna attack. So Ogre Pond is still minus one, which is good news for us. It's great news for us. It's lovely news for us. It's lovely news. And they're gonna hit that Terra button. So Terra's gonna come out here. And it's gonna be in the Ogre Pond. So Ogre Pond going back to neutral here. Um, we can just swap it to Incineroar next turn, which could be good. Um, and I wonder what move he's going for. Horn Leech? Maybe Ivy Cuts on the rain? Maybe? I'm not too sure. Let's see. He's gonna go for the fake out. We blocked it with our ability. Lovely. You're gonna go for the Ivy Cudgel. There's no way it's going into the Cinder slot, correct? Okay. I was gonna say. The Ivy Cudgel flies here. We soak decently well. It doesn't do half damage. Wicked Blow flies. Bop. Big time damage. We get rid of him. So that's huge. So now that they've seen the ability, do we just say that they're not going to fake out? So I can keep Urshfield on the field here. I could just keep Urshfield on the field if I wanted to. Could go for close combat, but I might just swap into Incineroar. Like, I should just get off Intimidates here, correct? Yeah, let's just Intimidate and let's just go for Triple Axle. Intimidate Triple Axle. Love it. So Rain's still on the field, which is good. I mean, Flare Blitz can still do some nice damage on the Serene. But of course this match is harder than it should have been. Like, if they just knew the abilities, they shouldn't have Grassy Guided, and then my uh, my Kyra could have just ripped up with Water Spouts, but at least we have a good battle here. Forced me to play a lot differently here, swap in and out. But out comes my Incineroar. We love Intimidates here. Minus one. And you get a minus one. Both you guys. Minus one on attack. We love it. Triple Axe is going to fly here, and this should KO, I think. One more for the KO. Later. Get it on out of here. Rillaboom gone. That's why the Wild Lens is so good on this Pokemon. I love this Pokemon. Pokemon's so good. It's so good. So there's that, and that pretty much just wraps up the game, right? I have Urshfu in the back end. I can close combat and just finish off this game pretty much at any time. Flare Blitz isn't even going to do half. Uh, I'm now just going to... Oh, you get a burn? How dare you? You get a burn. I actually want to knock off its berry first, to be honest. I actually want to knock off its berry. You can actually just KO my Serene next turn. Because so I'm just going to knock off your berry and then kind of just go from there. Cute. Of course I'm burned. Of course I'm burned. So honestly, I think just like a helping hand into the knockoff might be our best bet. Our moves are just not doing much, and you know what? I'm just gonna do that. That's definitely our best bet. And they finally just canceled the battle. Solid one in the third, and we go 3-0 and grab ourselves a perfect record. What did I say? Now, what did I say? I told you guys, one of the best Kyogre teams for ranked regulation G right here, and we just proved why. 3-0 perfect record. Again, if you guys want to run the team for yourself, the run to code is at the top right hand corner, but everything about this team works so perfectly. Kyogre, next is Serena over here, alongside with Tornadus, Rollaboom, Urshfu, and Incineroar. Every Pokemon got some love in today's video, and they were fully showcased. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.